Good morning, it's just gone 8 a.m. I'm at my boyfriend's place. I'm just observing workers mooching around outside in the yard. They haven't noticed I'm vlogging though, he he he, in my pajamas. I've just got the coffee pot on to start the day off. I don't know if you watched yesterday's vlog, but the reason I ended up here was because we went out playing music late last night and it was too late to get any buses home or anything, so I came back here. But I've got a site test today, so I'm gonna be traveling over from here to that. We're planning to leave at 10 a.m. Let's see how that goes though. But in the meantime, I'm gonna make myself coffee and I'm gonna get up and work on tonight's vlog. It's 9.47, my vlog is now up. I've got natural yogurt and a bit of honey and some protein-packed lentil cakes with Marmite and butter for my breakfast. I'm washed and dressed and IB is now running behind by one hour. Now I'm mostly okay with it. I am mostly very flexible. For years now, I've been trying to get myself as location independent as possible with my work. So as long as I've got my flute and my laptop, I'm okay. The only time I struggle with the ever-changing time boundaries is when I can't get on with my stuff. Like if I'm just sitting waiting with everything all packed up and don't know what time I'm leaving or if I'm in a car and I've got no phone signal. If I can do a bit of Duolingo that's something but if it drags on and on and I've, I'm focused and I'm like I really just want to get on with something else then I find it hard like I don't really concentrate on my language learning then so it's like I feel like I'm wasting my time but most of the time I'm absolutely fine with it because I can be flexible but I do have an appointment so I need to get to that on time. <laughs> I should be, I should be able to. There was a lot of buffer time built in. Just gone quarter past 10. I'm gonna make myself a little cup of tea to take upstairs with me. And then I'm gonna practice my flute for about three quarters of an hour. I'm not sure that 11 is gonna be, you know, actual departure time, so I'm just gonna play till he comes back and then I'll put everything away and go when he's ready. That's what I'm gonna do. Otherwise I might end up packing up and then sitting there twiddling my thumbs. <laughs> It's half past 11 now, I've done an hour and 10 minutes practice. Um, he's been updating me. He's being held up himself, this is the issue. It's not his fault, honestly. <laughs> He's just, yeah, anyway, he said if worse comes to worst, he'll literally drive me home because he was going to drop me to a bus stop so I could get home, like, that's on the way. He lives out in the middle of nowhere. If you don't drive, it's a nightmare. <laughs> like, you are reliant on lifts for bus stop or train station or a long trek on foot, which is dangerous because there's a bit on the road where there's a hump. So vehicles coming from either side can't see you on the other side and there's no pavement at all. So it's just that one bit, otherwise I'd happily walk four miles with my stuff, no problem. However, there is that. I've done it on a Sunday when there's been barely any traffic, you know, and you can hear if anything's coming. I've done it then, like on the odd occasion when he hasn't been around. But yeah, anyway, um, I have a mission on today. I want to put some Welsh tune sets together that I like and I, you know, want to play myself rather than other people's tune sets, which is mostly what I've been doing lately. Um, I was going to do it at home so I could go through my books and folders and files and things and just help myself to remember what I actually know, because I don't know what I know, I know loads of them, but can't bring them to mind very easily. Um, but I'm obviously not home, so I'm going to go and have a rummage around his bookshelf. The thing is, I've got one of his main books at my house, so I don't know if I'm going to have any luck, but I'm going to have a go. The answer is no, I cannot find any Welsh tune books there at all, and I can't be bothered to trawl through the net because it'll be much quicker to go through my things at home. I'll do it tonight, I guess. Um, I'm gonna have a banana. I tell you what, playing the flute makes me hungry. It is quite strenuous, honest. I don't think anybody believes me. People say, oh, it's a girl's instrument. Um, I beg to differ. Anyway, I think he might have texted me with an update. He, it's not his fault, honest. He's, he's being held up, right, um, 12.20. Okay, so it's gone from 10 a.m. till 12.20. Right, so 11.40 now. Okay, I'll have a little think about what to do. I have got some, I've got a list of tasks written in my diary. I'll start to go through those and see which I can do online. I think some of them are email based. I'm doing the online health questionnaire for my site test. I have to fill in the form before I go there. Stuff like ethnicity, email address. Why do they want my address? I'm on their records, I hate that. Asking for info they've already got. I don't see the point. And there's COVID questions as well. They want to know if I've got any change in vision, broken glasses, do I need new glasses, etc. Reason for visit, details of medications, do I use computer, tablet and phone screens at all? Yes, <laughs> a lot. Oh, well, hopefully it's not too long. Okay, okay. I've done that. Now I've been sent, ages ago now, well, I don't know, a week ago, but I've been putting it off. I've been sent some tunes from Cell. 
in my Kaylee band, we've been requested by a particular customer to play three particular tunes, very unusual, particular Welsh tunes. So he has sent us the notation for that to learn. I'm just saving it to a folder. I'm gonna see if I can print it out here to save me doing it later. Let's paste those items there, right? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yes, I think it's doing it. I think I can hear the printer printing. Yay, there they are. Oh, oh they've come out a bit big and chunky. I might do an emo special on them, right? Well, there's only one come out, so what's that all about? So I sent three down. Mm. Okay, I know why it was. It's because it defaulted back to my printer, basically. I had to select it manually and I didn't. Uh, right, the next one should be coming. Why has it got a red cross on it? Receiving data, that's what I want to hear. Good. Good, that's that job done. And I think I've had something sat in my inbox for ages from the council. I don't know what it is. It might be important. I, I haven't got to it. It's been there about two weeks. So I'm going to go and trawl back and find it and see if I need to do something. Hopefully I don't get in trouble about that. Okay, it's to do with updating electoral information. Is that the right word? So just quickly do this. Okay, I've done that little job. I've been trying to reorder my prescription over the phone and it's just constantly engaged, but it's not too far from the optician, so I'll be able to just do it in person later if I can't get through. Right, I've managed to get hold of him. It's about 20 past 12. He said he's gonna be six minutes. He's like on hands free, obviously. Um, yeah, I uh, don't know what we're doing about food, but I need to pack the camera basically. He's back, we're about to leave. He's just getting something from the house and uh, his apples are ready. I didn't film it because I thought we were literally leaving imminently, but then he needed to do something else. So um, anyway, I've picked a load for me and Mick and I'm gonna hopefully make my daughter a lovely apple pie. We're having a drive through Costa lunch. We're just waiting for my toasty to come. I've actually gone for an Americano with milk because I'm trying to cut down on the amount of calories I'm having from these coffees. It's very nice, it's perfectly good. One, the cheese and tomato toasty. I'm very hungry for this. 10 to 2, I've just got in through the door. Well, 10 minutes ago, I've been chatting to my daughter and just going to the loo. Now I'm off to the optician, so I'll let you know how I got on when I get back. My prediction is I need different reading glasses, which is going to affect the very focus prescription. So I am anticipating I'm going to incur some expenses shortly. Do you think that could be better? Oh. It looks flatter because it's not touching your cheek. You can't try anything with this colour on the glass. She's run off with my glasses to do something with them. So um, what was that one? Photograph of each eye. And then that one, it was like the puff of air for the pressures. I've been sent to choose frames. I hate choosing frames because I always like the ones I've got because I'm used to it. But that said, I quite like these. I know they're very similar. But I do like the look of those. I might try those actually. I don't think I want any great big ones. I don't think that's quite my cup of tea. It's 20 past three and I've just got back in. I'm being really lazy not setting any lights up in the kitchen so I'm doing this by the door. Um, yeah, so as predicted, that, that's why there's a shadow behind me. Apologies, I'm just, I'm just being time efficient. Anyway, um, as predicted, yes, my near sight has changed so I've had to up the prescription for that but also my long sight as well. Not a lot but enough to sort of need new glasses really so I've got some on order and I'll be going back next week sometime to go and pick those up and have them fitted properly and also I went and reordered my prescription so I need to collect that next week. Now what time is it? It's 20 past three so I'm gonna do a bit of editing and then I'm gonna get cracking on with a little project of mine that I want to do today, which is uh, trying to sort of stock take my Welsh tune repertoire, my traditional Welsh tune repertoire, because I know loads and loads of tunes, but I don't know what I know. So I'm going to try and go through books and folders and see if I know and go, oh yeah, that's that one. And then I can write, I can write it down then. It will remind me what I know, if you know what I mean. But I'm going to do that afterwards. So I'm going to edit first. Quite a lot of time and a lot of mess later. <laughs> and I've got some tunes that I know. I've found this many and I need to run through them. But the problem is I am now hungry and a little bit kind of just ready for a break, like almost dizzy with just sitting there for so long writing stuff out. I haven't had a chance to go through it, obviously. It's not the best time to start when you're feeling hungry. But anyway, Izzy and I are gonna go out to dinner tonight in a pub because we're celebrating her getting into uni. And also I was gonna take her before, but she had in Patigo that day, so we had a fish and chip dinner instead. But we're gonna to go to the pub today. Am I still in my reading glasses? Yes, I am. So, given that it's late and I'm a bit hungry and a bit tired, I've been reconfiguring my plans to be a bit more realistic. I had a chat to Izzy and I asked her when would she like to leave based on her hunger levels, and she said in 45 minutes. So. At 6.45, we're going to go to the pub and have dinner together. And in the meantime, I'm making a pot of one of my <clears throat> almost decaffeinated coffees. And I'm gonna go down in the cellar with it, with my flute and play through my bits and bobs and try and put these tunes into sets, like into medleys, one, two, three tunes in a row. 
and um, and then this evening hopefully I'll find some time to just scribble them out neatly in a little book to take with me. See what I'm doing is I've been invited to a Welsh music session and you see when you go to a session right this is probably don't know this when you go to a traditional music session what happens is somebody starts off a tune and if anybody knows it they join in basically and quite often people will stick two or three of them together in a set of tunes or I suppose any other genre you'd call that a medley we don't call them medley we call them sets. My coffee is bubbling. Whoop. Sometimes you get people that want to start every single set to the point where nobody else gets a chance and sometimes you get people that hold back a lot, that's more like me, that don't start a lot of sets, though that said I did start quite a few yesterday and then you get people in between. So that's what I'm trying to do because I'm not used to doing Welsh sessions so hopefully I get it done in time. Coffee is made and I'm gonna go and disappear for a bit with my flute in the cellar and I'll speak to you later. Ten to seven now, I've come out of my cellar. I managed to put six sets together anyway, they're a bit basic to be honest but they'll do to start me off, won't they? they'll start the ball rolling, at least I'll have something to play. Right, Izzy is just um, powdering her nose and then we are going out. Oh yeah. look what's come, as well as having a steak. Can't you? Oh, meaty chops. And I'm having a vegetable, it's, what is it? Cauliflower and spinach curry. I've been on the old ginger beer, very nice it was, as he's had a J2O. Right, wasn't bad at all actually, that curry's a bit sweet for me and I've got too much food basically, I can't eat all this, but it, was, it wasn't bad at all, I'd have it again and I actually quite liked the rice. How's the steak going down? Mm -hmm. She's nodding. It's just gone 20 past eight now. I've been in a little while, the phone was ringing literally as I was putting the key in the door, so he's yet to take over and let us in. And it was my dad, so I've been nattering on the phone to my dad for a little while about mostly musical thingies actually, because he plays as well, he plays the tin whistle. You might have noticed if you watched my vlogs and you've watched them for a while, but if you're new, you probably wouldn't know that. <laughs> Do you know, I've had six nights out on the trot. I had two rehearsals, three gigs, and then I played in a music session last night. So six nights on the trot. So this is my first evening at home for ages, <laughs> nearly a week. I have not got too much editing to do because I did a big chunk this afternoon, as I mentioned, so there's not much left to do this evening. So after that, I think I'm gonna try and get my Portuguese textbook out and um, do a bit of that. Actually, I'm a bit tired for concentrating, to be honest, but I'm just, I'm just craving it, you know? So that's what I'm gonna do. So I, ho I hope this vlog wasn't too short. It was a bit of a funny day again, <laughs> uh, as I keep seeming to have. Anyway, I'm going out tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm gonna meet a friend. A school friend. Which is going to be very nice. Mm -hmm. So there we are. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe down below to watch more videos from me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!